I'm with Le Mans Arena from uh, Bethlehem, Bejala, Bethlehem, and we're talking about Palestinian Christians. Now, Le Mans, how many Palestinian Christians live in Bethlehem? This time, the, uh, mostly, the, as according to, to Bethlehem uh, municipality, they said 27%. Uh, so there's a very, very small amount of Christians living here in Bethlehem? Yes, it's small. We are the a minority people who lives in Bethlehem. Uh, has the numbers been going down over the past years, maybe 20 years? Actually, it was different. Before, it was uh, almost a Christian around uh, over over 50% last 20 years but now uh, many of them they go uh, because the situation uh, uh, it's going on in Bethlehem so it's very hard for people uh, to stay and to live uh, here in Bethlehem and what difficulties do the Christians face here in Bethlehem uh, they face uh, many difficulties most of them number one is working uh, so hard for people people graduated from the universities and uh, hard for them to find a job other things wall wall makes uh, problems uh, people couldn't uh, go freely to jerusalem uh, to, to work or maybe even to uh, for medical stuff to go to hospitals is really not easy also the uh, wage uh, other things the bills the electric the electric uh, uh, people uh, pay the same price electric from jerusalem because the uh, electric company is not uh, palestinian uh, electric mm -hmm. so this has caused a problem for people to pay more money and the economy uh, get down so prices uh, can be more high, higher and uh, people uh, couldn't uh, pay. And this is makes many problems. So uh, this is, uh, uh, makes uh, suffering for people. So people leave the country and couldn't stay here anymore. So most of uh, Christian, they left uh, the country. Now, many people, when they work, are they working many, many hours a day but still can't afford to pay the bills at the end of it? Uh, yes, they work many hours and they couldn't. Like person uh, received uh, a month here uh, around uh, 1,500 shekels and some of them uh, around uh, 2,000. But this is not enough. Uh, people in uh, Jerusalem, they received uh, 4,700 uh, shekels and they live a different life. So how how person he can pay? He have children, he have a wife. Uh, so I couldn't pay for only 1,500 shekels, almost like $300. $300 not enough to pay for electric, for uh, some people, they doesn't have a house, and they, they, so they rent. So these are people who are working. The people who aren't working, it must be very depressing to be stuck in the house all day, in the home all day, and not being able to have a job when unemployment is high. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Very hard. Very difficult for them, really. Yeah. And what difficulties do the youth face here in Bethlehem? Actually, youth uh, really faced uh, many difficulties. Most of them, uh, they don't know how to go, how to, to, to spend time. Time is a big problem for this youth. Mm. So youth doesn't know what they have to do. Like there is no a special um, library to, to 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 tell them what they have to do or people to give them counseling. So just go to school and uh, back home. And at the schools, uh, I'm nothing so they uh, they can uh, do everything at school. You know, it's limit time from uh, seven o'clock or seven thirty till twelve o'clock. Some of them they still till two o'clock. But after that, what do you think? So it's really a problem for them. They don't know what they have to do. They need the uh, people to guide them. And many of the youth, uh, they have problems uh, because the situation here, when they look at uh, the parents, they doesn't have war, life uh, so hard, no uh, good economy. So this is uh, suffer, uh, let the children to have uh, suffering and will be difficult for them to, uh, to understand and to rise up regularly. So they, they live uh, life like thinking about the future, what will be, what will be, uh, what's going on, uh, how, how I can handle it. Oh, I don't want to be my life like my father. So I want different life. Is there a sense of hopelessness because they could go to college, get a good degree, but there's no job at the end of it? Absolutely. They have good degree and they couldn't find work uh, because uh, we have... Uh, uh, different universities. Uh, we have almost big uh, three big uh, universities in uh, Bethlehem, and they graduate uh, hundreds of uh, students. 
So these students, uh, they don't have work, job. So what they do, they found, they found another uh, opportunities to be in another countries. So they leave uh, home and they live there beca because there is good opportunities for them to receive more money and better life. So the best students in some ways are leaving and going. Absolutely. Best students, they, they have a scholarship. Other countries, they carry them and they go and they live there. And that's good, but on other hand, it's not good because we need uh, this kind of uh, people to stand in this land uh, to give a beautiful uh, picture about uh, the Holy Land. Is there a big problem with drugs and drinking here? Uh, not that much, uh, like Jerusalem, especially in Bethlehem. Uh, we have here uh, the Palestinian Authority and um, they are in control. Uh, so uh, the situation for sure better than uh, Jerusalem and uh, north. Mm. Now, is the church growing here in Bethlehem? Church growing uh, slowly, mm. very slow. And uh, we need really Christ to, uh, to make revival in uh, the land of Bethlehem that many people will receive the Lord as Savior to know that he is uh, the one, the Alpha and Omega, and by him uh, the salvation will come. Is it difficult to evangelize? Well, um, we have actually uh, something people, if, you, if they want to evangelize, they can, but you know, not all people have the same mentality. There is people, they try to stop, stop you when you go and preach. So it's really not freely, like uh, we hope that will be like United States or like France or other countries to have more freedom about religions. Mm. Is there a good relationship between the Christian communities? You've obviously got uh, Catholic, Greek Orthodox, nominal Christian and also evangelical Christian. Is the relationship good there or is it strained? Actually, almost as good, not uh, uh, very bad, but uh, the issue that uh, Jesus uh, told us that we are one body in him. So uh, there is no uh, Jew or Gentiles in Christ. We are one in Christ, one family in Christ. And um, not nice uh, when uh, communities say, oh, I am uh, this domination and I'm that domination. So we must be one. So this is a mixed a problem and make Christianity to be more weak. So uh, these people need uh, to have a community uh, to be together as one Christian, one family. There is no difference between us. So uh, we cannot say, oh, this person with this dominations or that or that or that. No, this is uh, against Christ because we are one body in him. So we must to stand together and to be good together and tell people that the Christianity is love. So because we love all, we love all, we love the Jewish, we love the Muslims. Uh, they are our brothers, they are our sisters. We love all, we love the Hindus even, you know. God, God is love. Now, are Christians still leaving Bethlehem at the moment? Uh, the majority of uh, uh, people in uh, Bethlehem, they, they left. They couldn't stay anymore. It's uh, so hard for them. Uh, to communicate in this land, to live, to have living. Uh, uh, many things, as I told you in the beginning, about war, about uh, work. Uh, this uh, caused uh, problems, the economy, the electric. Electric is so expensive here. Um, schools even, there is no schools for free. People have to pay for school. And this is really not easy for uh, one father to take care of uh, four or five children. Uh, that's really hard. Are you hearing of families who are saying, well, that's it, we're leaving now? Yes, there is. There is uh, many families. And uh, I remember in the year of 2000, there is uh, 25 t families from our area. They left. And when we say 25 uh, uh, families for Bethlehem, so the majority of families, they abandoned uh, the country. They couldn't back. They never believed that situation can be better. And the uh, situation, of course, uh, here uh, needs the grace of God. And what's your relationship like between Christians and Muslims? Is it a good relationship there? Uh, well, uh, there is uh, uh, a great relationship, uh, especially in the year before, like uh, last uh, 20, 30 years ago, was really excellent relationship between Muslims and the Christian. Uh, they are, uh, 
mostly like brothers and sisters they have very very good relationship but uh, unfortunately there is a uh, uh, people who have influence from uh, Iran and there is also Christian they have influence from uh, Europe uh, to, to learn hatred and this is against God because our God is great and he teached us to love each another because he's an awesome God so uh, a Christian really loves Muslims and uh, they have a good relationship uh, now like uh, Christian uh, used to, to run the bills of the churches uh, every Sunday uh, there is no problems and mosques uh, used to pray uh, uh, five times a day and the Christian never say something never uh, stop them and never say any things uh, so this relationship good I hope that this uh, good relationship will continue and hopefully uh, by grace of God that no enemies will come to this land and put hatred, especially in uh, Iran and uh, uh, Europe who people uh, I mean I'm not talking about all Europe I mean I'm, I'm talking about people who teach to hate the others and this is against uh, Christ because we love all people mm. and what's your prayer for Christians here in Bethlehem finally uh, finally uh, my prayers for the Christian and we really need the uh, prayers I, I believe uh, there is uh, many people hearing uh, that program you uh, did a great uh, job brother P Paul uh, so we ask uh, God uh, to help us for many things and the most uh, prayers uh, points is uh, praying for unities we need uh, to be one uh, community in Christ uh, one uh, body in him even one spirit because uh, we are family of God and uh, God want us to to work together because if uh, each person work by himself uh, the community will be weak and weaker so we want uh, to to develop our faith to develop uh, the life here to have a better life uh, secondly we need prayers for wall for the the beast of of, uh, of Bethlehem beast of Jerusalem even uh, that this wall uh, by God grace will be destroyed because this is an ungodly wall uh, uh, stop freedom for people but uh, I believe that this wall couldn't stop freedom for uh, the who believe in God and who have hope that God one day he will destroy that uh, wall uh, other things uh, um, pray for freedom because uh, very hard for people to to go to Jerusalem to have work they need a permission and uh, to receive a permission really not easy a uh, majority of people uh, couldn't receive a permission to go and to work in uh, in the uh, uh, Israeli section. So this is uh, most uh, the prayers. Okay, uh, Laman, thank you very much. You're very welcome, bro.